Hello and welcome to TutoringPotential.com's Geometry End of Course Practice Exam Overview for 2014. Uh, for the overview, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each, show you the workout solutions without explaining them. They're, they're worked out on the page. So you can pause the video and I can at least show you everything in one video and then I'll go and explain the solutions in detail in later videos. reach and there's a distance to find the diagonal that's worked out you know what there's a reason I don't want to lean on this table Coordinates to point A. That one's tough to see. But I use the midpoint formula. Probably need the setup. What I've done is redraw that triangle CDF and use parallel lines. to show which are equal. I use here I use the interior angle to find the uh, the fact the interior and the exterior are supplementary sorry it's a different problem that one just deals with the interior angle there's the exterior Here I use the one sprinkler every three yards. The dimensions will be in proportion by uh, multiplied by the scale factor. That's redrawn my scales off. That's a series of two reflections. What happens is you, is you shift the Y down six units. That's what that notation is for answer choice D. Another dilation scale factor question. That's as far as I go. That's as far as I go.
30, 60, 90 right triangle. I use I have to draw that altitude, solve that problem. Here I use the radius to draw the diagonal, solve for the perimeter of the square. This honestly, you kind of eyeball it and see which which looks similar, but or you you can solve for the uh, ratio of the sides, and when you find the lengths, the correct answer will have the proper ratio of the sides. Oh, I forgot. This uh, you're finding the slope of the, the the slope of the diagonals, but if you look at my answer choice, only C has the answer choices as opposite of the reciprocal, negative four and one fourth. This is just showing that 7 will be one half of AB plus DC because AE is equal to ED and BF is equal to FC. I'm not sure my speaker is going to pick this up. Which is the mid segment of the trapezoid? I wrote it out. It comes from uh, similar triangles. Triangle similarity, how are we going to say it? All right. To find D, uh, G, they've given us a way to get numerical values for A and B. And then basically you draw G and you figure out where that would be and then you use those to solve ah. I wrote the steps out Your, that number three says write coordinates of G in terms of A and B looks like uh, an algebra question in a way Is Aisha's flow proof? Uh, there's the drawing right now. Basically, because you have a right triangle, you, you sort of automatically consider hypotenuse like there, and that's what they've given us. AE is equal to CD, and which leg they've given us. I'm not sure I'd have to look back. I think it's the one circled. CD equals EA. That's it. CB and EB. They are this one circle. Alright, I gotta pick this up. Longest side is opposite the largest angle. Pretty straightforward. I 
Pythagorean theorem. I forgot this 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 needs this <laughs> there it is Not a triangular prism because these triangles are both on the same side. There's the net of a cube. You just sort of have to know it's a net of a cube, and then if you if you have to draw it this way, and that'll give you to 12 edges. Basically, otherwise you're double or triple counting some of these. Pause that if you need it. Volume of rectangular solids. Volume of a pyramid. This is a volume page. Volume of cylinders. There it is. Oh. Uh, volume of a cone. Volume is well represented on this exam. I would study how to use and memorize your volume formula. This is a what is this one? Surface area question. Did I get all that? I shouldn't be moving it around too much. There's a setup. There's a drawing. I'll show you the answer to this one, but I'll have to explain it because it's not calculation based. Did I draw that? No, they drew that figure. Sorry, moving this one around so much. Finally, we, well, uh, and they, you have your basic trig functions. Well, you have three of them, sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, they threw a question or two in at the end. I don't know why it's not, they didn't save it for trigonometry. Uh, there's a set of question. There it is redrawn. Uh, got to get the last one on the page here. Okay. Another tangent question. Okay, make sure I get all that in there. About 14.4. There's the setup if you didn't see it. I'm going to go ahead and end the video to keep it under 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please comment uh, and write if you have any questions. Uh, thanks again.